Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please do click subscribe. We're trying to get to 2000 subscribers. Today we're looking at top five worst drivers. In fifth place is the guy on my shirt, Daniel Ricardo. This hurts. This really, really hurts to say. But Daniel had probably the worst season of his career. His highest finish position was fifth. Thank goodness he scored in his last Grand Prix. But he did 12 races with no points. 3 DNS at Brazil, he had an incident. But the rest were fails, so I guess that wasn't really on him. But comparing Daniel Ricciardo's season this year to previous, it was like we were watching a totally different driver. I couldn't not add him to this list because there were drivers that did better than him, that drove better than him. At Brazil, that dive on Magnussen was sloppy. It's not the Daniel that we're used to. And unfortunately, he's not on the grid next year, which is really, really sad. But for me, he stands in fifth place on the worst list. In fourth place on the top five worst drivers of the 22 season, Pierre Gasly. Gasly. Another driver I never expected to to be putting on this list but Pierre and Alvatari had a terrible season a lot of it isn't down to Pierre a lot of it is the car Alvatari finished in ninth position in the championship which is I didn't expect that his DNFs have all been car issue related but Pierre really hasn't had luck on his side this season he's two points away from receiving a race ban and he's just really been nowhere very similar to daniel in the, the pierre that we're used to we just didn't really see this year 13 races he didn't score any points just hoping that his move next year gets him out of this funk he's got a quicker car and we can see that Pierre that we're used to third place on the top five worst drivers of the f122 season is Yuki Tsunoda. I was like this about Yuki, but I just don't remember anything that Yuki's done this year. Again, he's been Alpha Tauri's driver and the car just hasn't been anywhere near as good as it's been in previous seasons. Highest finishing position was seven. Gasly got a fifth. He spun at Canada, which was really the only thing that's sort of stayed in my mind about his season five dnfs but the other four were car related issues i don't know what i wanted or expected from yuki this year because he did have a handicap with the car but when i looked back on the season and looked back at driver's performances there was really nothing i remembered about yuki so therefore he sits in third in second place is lance stroll lance stroll has been in formula one for a very very long time and some of the moves he's made this year i'd expect from a rookie lance really does get the butt end of the jokes but this guy is really not at a level that i expect to see in formula one he failed to score in 12 races thankfully he scored abu dhabi which sort of helped the team highest finishing position was six i just really feel that lance has been given enough opportunities to prove himself and this year he really hasn't he's defending his overtakes they haven't been anything to talk about. Some of them have been extremely questionable. And I just feel like if he didn't have a dad that owned Aston Martin, he wouldn't be in Formula 1. The coveted worst driver of F1 22 season. Well, there was only ever one driver for that, wasn't there? Mr. Latifi himself. Three seasons Latifi's been in Formula 1. Another pay driver, sorry, he is a lovely, lovely man, but this year was his worst. Arguably last year, I think if Nikita had been on the grid, we'd have been kind of saying the TV was the worst last year. His spins, oh, I, honestly, he loses it. It's just a common occurrence for the TV to have a spin at a race to have a spin at some point of the weekend. Were there any race weekends where he didn't spin? He scored in one grand prix and look albon only scored two more points than him and he's at williams but i just feel like albon drove that car a lot better than latifi i'm not sad to see latifi go i think there needs to be another driver in his place he clearly isn't at the level that we need to see in formula one this is meant to be the pinnacle of motorsport and latifi just hasn't just hasn't got it he did finish ninth in japan 
his best result of the season. But that's the standard, boys. Anything above Latifi next year, you're doing well.